What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Shadow Beats back with you playing some more Madden 25 exhibition style. It's not. This isn't owner mode yet. I'm still trying to work out some some kinks with that. But um, yes, the uh, football season. The football, not soccer, not American football, not hand egg. It's fucking football. Yeah, wankers. Yeah, bloody wankers. <laughs> Just pissed off half of the world. But anyway, yes, the NFL season is starting up. And so I wanted to do a little football-themed Q&A regarding the NFL season. And the game that you're watching, always got to be in the snow if you do exhibition games, in my opinion. The uh, Canton Greats and the Madden All-25 team, two teams that were put in. Canton Greats, obviously Hall of Famers, Madden All-25, the best players in from past Madden games, yada, yada, yada. Yes, quite obvious. I think it's funny because Tom Brady is the uh, the placeholder for the kicker. But anyway, let's get into the questions. First question is... Oh, wait, no, I'm loading up the wrong screens here. Eh, move. God damn it. Um, hold on. Technical... Okay. What's your favorite team and why? Well, sir, my favorite football team is the New York Giants. And why... The short, the short story is I didn't really have a favorite football team until the year 2000, I think. The, well, basically, the year the Giants went to the Super Bowl, uh, I made a bet. I was in fifth grade, and I made a, I think, like a $10 bet, maybe $5 bet. First bet I ever made that the Giants were going to win, and they played the Ravens, and they lost 34-7. to but I just became so fam familiar with the team, and I just never stopped really following them. I don't think that counts as bandwagon because I was in fifth grade, but whatever. Yeah, people just get mad. <sighs> Who do you think will be this year's surprise playoff contender? Um, you might think I'm crazy, but the Cleveland Browns. I, so, I, I've been following the Browns for... A while, actually, that kind of gets into another question that is asked later, so I won't answer that here. But the Browns' defense, I felt, was really good last year, even though the Giants put up like 40 points on them. <laughs> but no, seriously, the, I think the Giant or the Browns' defense is going to be spectacular. Plus, Trent Richardson is an absolute tank, and I think Brandon Whedon with a year under his belt, I legitimately think the Browns are going to get at least second place in the AFC North and possibly take a wild card. I legitimately think that. <clears throat> yeah. That's cool because I can make these predictions and we can go back and see how wrong I was. <sighs> Who is your favorite non-Giants player? Definitely Andre Johnson, the, uh, the wide receiver for the Houston Texans. <laughs> for those who don't. He's, he's an absolute beast, and I don't think that there's any maybe Tony Gonzalez but I don't think there's any player in the NFL right now who deserves a Super Bowl ring more than Andre Johnson he's been such a dominant receiver on such a terrible team and now the Texans are finally good I'm I'm rooting for them just for that purpose not against the Giants of course but yes do you remember your first Giants game you watched as a child or a teenager whatever Yes, actually, I do. The first Giants game that I ever watched was, and actually paid attention to, was actually the NFC Championship game, the 2000 NFC Championship game, the uh, the Giants and the Vikings, when they shut out Dante Culpepper, Randy Moss, 41 to nothing. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, 41 nothing. They're definitely going to win the Super Bowl here. Ten buck bet. So that's the backstory behind that. Yeah, that was the first Giants game that I ever really watched. And I was nine, I think. So, yeah. What? How was your first football match you attended? Elaborate, please. Winky face, shit. Mm hmm. wants to be here. No. First football match. I'm assuming you're talking about football game. If you're talking about soccer, I'm going to block you so fast. But yeah, first football game that I attended was... Oh, shit. 
I forget what year it was. It was Giants Eagles a few years ago. I think it was in ninth or tenth grade. It was a season where the Eagles were decimated with injuries and they were terrible. I think who was their quarterback? I don't know. The, the backup was in. So basically, my friend just gave away two 25-yard line tickets, and I went with my dad. It was in late December, and it was really cold. I remember that, but I, I, I loved it. I thought it was great. However, my dad didn't think it was so great. He was cold, so we left early. We left at freaking halftime, and that was a game that went into overtime. And the Giants won in overtime. I could have seen the Giants beat the Eagles in overtime live in Philly. But no. No. It was cold. Whatever. I forgive him. Kinda. Have you ever been to a Giants game at the stadium? No. Uh, I want to, but I have not gotten up to the Meadowlands yet to see a Giants game. But that is definitely on the bucket list. Mm, what is your opinion on Tebow and the Lions? They both suck. <laughs> now, Tebow, I, I don't want to get into Tebow. He's been discussed so much. It's ridiculous. I don't think a third string quarterback has gotten so much attention ever. But yeah, he's a horrible quarterback. But I mean, he wins. And he hasn't really proven that he loses yet because everybody keeps benching him. So I think it would be interesting if uh, I would like to see him get another shot at quarterback just to kind of put closure. Like, is he a winner or is he terrible? And the Lions, sorry, no, sorry nobody, you're, uh, <laughs> your team sucks, man. Sorry. I know you have Calvin Johnson, but that's it. Stafford's a bad quarterback. Get over it. Mm, if you had to choose another team to be your favorite besides the Giants, which team would it be and why? Yeah. The the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> I don't know why, but for ever since they became a team again back... Ah, oh fuck. I forget. I think it was, just, what, 2000 and... I'm not even going to make a guess. I should have probably researched it a little bit before I did this, but no... The Browns have sucked for years, and I like that in the team. Like, I don't know why. I just think it's fascinating. Like watching a team, it's just hilarious when they suck and seeing them get better. And the Browns are slowly getting better, and that is why I'm excited. I'm not a Browns fan by any means, but you know, I the Browns are winning. I'll get I'll get a little little excited if the Browns are on. I'll watch. So yeah, the, I guess the Cleveland Browns. Why do you call football soccer? Why is your name impossible to pronounce? It's soccer, dude. And I call football football. Get your freaking tongue face back in there. You... <sighs> okay, oh, damn. I think this is the last. Yep, last question. Playoff and Super Bowl predictions. Well, okay, let's get my little paper out here real quick. And, okay, so... We're just going to go division by division here first. The uh, Patriots, obviously going to win the AFC East. Obviously. like there's, I don't think anybody's ever going to get that wrong, ever. Like That division is so ass. AFC North, the Ravens are going to win it. And the Cleveland Browns are going to get the sixth seed, the second wild card spot. Yes, Steelers fans, your Steelers are going to miss the playoffs for the second year in a row. But don't worry, it'll make up for it. <sighs> yes. Uh, AFC South. Again, this is pretty easy. The Texans are probably going to win it. And the Colts are going to get the five seed, the uh, the first wild card. And AFC West, Broncos. AFC is that division where there, I really think that there are six clear-cut teams that are just better than the rest. I, I don't really see upsets but that's great about the nfl upsets happen and this is probably going to be totally wrong but i i can't see really any stretches in the afc however i just want to make a quick note that if matt flynn is actually the quarterback that everybody says he is 
I think the Oakland Raiders also have a legitimate shot to be a playoff contender. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. Actually, they could... Hmm. I don't know. I, th I think the Browns are going to edge them out, but... I don't know. The Raiders... Hmm. That'll be interesting. I'm not changing my picks, but I, I think that if Matt Flynn is actually a half-decent quarterback, I think... Nah, it's the Raiders. They suck. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, uh, NFC East is always tough for me to do because I don't know if I'm removing bias completely and I don't know if I say the Giants are going to miss the playoffs. It's because I don't want to... Yes, so take this with a grain of salt. I think the Washington Redskins are actually going to win it. I think they're going to win the division. The Giants are going to get second. If Robert Griffin III gets hurt, early in the season for an extended period of time. I know Kirk Cousins has a lot of hype, but I, I think that'll give the edge to the Giants. Unfortunately, winning the NFC East is probably going to be the only way that you're going to get into the playoffs in that division. I don't think a wild card's coming out of there. In the NFC North, I think the Bears are actually going to overtake the Packers. I do. I, I really, I, I just have a feeling that the Bears, there's too much potential on that team. Like, they can't, it wouldn't surprise me if they're second in the North, but I think that the Bears are actually going to take it. The Packers getting the first wild card. Yeah. Yeah, the first one. NFC South, Falcons are going to take it. The New Orleans Saints are not going to make the playoffs. I, see, it's hard because the NFC is a lot more balanced as far as competition. And some teams are going to miss the playoffs. And I think uh, NFC West, 49ers, and the Seahawks get the sixth seed. I'm not buying into all of this hype that the Seahawks are Super Bowl contenders. I... I don't see it, but I think that they're going to get the sixth seed. And, right. yeah, yeah, that's good. So, uh, AFC is Pats, Ravens, Browns, Texans, Colts, Broncos, NFC, Redskins, if Robert Griffin III gets hurt, Giants, Bears, Packers, Falcons, 49ers, Seahawks. Yeah, that's good. Oh, and... Oh, crap. I didn't write down Super Bowl. Uh, let's see here. I don't like making Super Bowl predictions because there's just so much that can happen. But, um... I don't think the Ravens are going to repeat. I think it's going to be the Texans. And... I'm not going to say the 49ers. Everybody, everybody's going to be saying Texans, 49ers. That, okay, no. Fuck that. Not the 49ers. The, uh... The Texans and the Packers. Yeah, Texans and Packers. Print it. There we go. Super Bowl 48 in New York in the snow. It has to snow. Super Bowl in a cold weather city. It is going to snow and it is going to be awesome. And the Texans are going to say, fuck the rules. We're going to wear our beautiful red alternate jerseys because they're going to get home field and it is going to be wonderful. Andre Johnson is going to get his ring. He's going to make a snowman and uh, it's going to be wonderful. So, yeah, those are my predictions. I'm actually glad I'm doing this video because now I have somebody to hold me to my predictions. And that will do it for this Q&A. Yeah, as you can see, I won 14 to 11. Also, what the hell was up with that field goal? 14 mile an hour wins to the right. I don't know how I hit the left post, but whatever. I am out of here. I hope you liked the video and have a beautiful day.